So what is small fiber polyneuropathy? So it simply means the damage to a small nerve fibers. And what are small nerve fibers? Our nervous system is composed of central nervous system, which is a brain and a spinal cord, and peripheral nervous system, which connects brain and a spinal cord to the rest of the body. Uh, central nervous system uh, it processes all the information that gets uh, from the peripheral nerves and controls other organs. This is a cartoon of a peripheral nerve. As you can see, a lot of nerve fibers are bundled together in a group of nerves which we call fascicle. If we cut this fascicle and look under the microscope, this is what we see. You can see a lot of different nerve fibers are there. Some of them are large with a thick, a dark rim around them like this one. And this is a large myelinated uh, nerve fiber. So that dark rim is myelin, which helps for the nerves to conduct electricity faster. These nerves are responsible for our balance and movement, and they are very important. On the other hand, you see other tiny nerves like these ones that they have almost no or minimal myelin around them. So these are the small nerve fibers that we are focusing today. So what is the function of this small nerve fiber? They have a lot of sensory functions. Uh, they transmit sensation of pain, uh, light touch, temperature, and itch. Uh, patients with a small fiber polyneuropathy will experience widespread pain and uh, maybe itching, and they have a numbness. So they explain the sensory uh, changes uh, as these are the terms that patients use tingling, pins and needles, electric shock-like pain, cold-like pain, burning sensation, feeling of a wrinkle in a sock that cannot be removed, small pebbles or sand in the shoes, and uh, the skin in this patient is sensitive to touch. This is one of the common uh, complaints of the patients that uh, the bed sheets feel painful at night, especially when it touches their feet. So they have to wear socks or uh, form foot tents to prevent the bed sheet to touch their feet. The other important function of the small nerve fibers is that they perform as the peripheral arm of a very complex and important system called autonomic nervous system. So these patients that have impaired function of this system have dysautonomia. And what is dysautonomia? So this system controls production of tear and saliva. So these patients may experience dry eyes and dry mouth. The other function is focusing with the eye, accommodation, and these patients can have blurry vision and difficulty focusing. Cardiovascular system is extensively controlled by this system, and uh, when we stand up, between 10 to 15 percent of our blood is pulled to our veins, especially in the legs uh, below the heart. These uh, nerves are supposed to work uh, as a reflex and be able to squeeze the veins and get more blood available for the upper body so heart can pump it to the brain. So this doesn't happen and when these patients stand up, the blood pressure drops and they have hypoperfusion of the brain. They don't get enough blood circulation to the brain and they feel lightheaded, uh, confused, foggy, they may lose consciousness, have syncope, as a reflex, heart may start racing and they may feel palpitation, chest pain, or shortness of breath. And they may feel fatigued all the time. So this is a very disabling syndrome called POTS, or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is a subtype of dysautonomia. Our digestive system is controlled by autonomic nerves and dysautonomia can cause gastroparesis. So these patients can have early fullness, bloating, nausea, uh, intestinal function may be impaired so they have uh, constipation or diarrhea. So these symptoms, I'm sure you're familiar with IBS or irritable bowel syndrome is dysautonomia in our digestive tract. Bladder dysfunction is another complaint in these patients. They may not feel the fullness of the bladder. They may have incontinence or they may have urinary frequency. And uh, sometimes they cannot initiate the urine stream, and they have to strain more. Sexual dysfunction with erectile dysfunction in men and uh, painful intercourse in women. 
This system also controls sweating, and these patients may have reduced or increased sweating based on which type of nerves involved.